Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. This is our first video, my first video of 2019. And uh, I want to take a moment just to say thank you for being a subscriber or for watching the videos. You know, everywhere I go, uh, almost everywhere I go, someone says to me, hey, you're that Glock guy. You're the guy with the videos. I really like your videos. And I really appreciate that. So I want to say thank you. You know, one of the best parts about this business are the people that I get to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, our customers, my employees, uh, the, um, uh, the people who come through the store, the people that I talk to on the phone, and the people I see out in the real world there, you know, when, when I'm traveling or wherever I am, and people come up and say hello, I really appreciate it. It's a great time. We've got some of the best customers in the world. And um, it really makes the, uh, this job, if you say <laughs> it's a job, um, uh, very satisfying. So thank you. Now, equally, as satisfying are the vendors. On the other side, uh, we've got a whole bunch of people we buy stuff from and uh, we resell it and we talk to and we help develop products with. And um, those people are fascinating. I mean, there's, they're inventors and they're business owners and they're uh, just you know straight up some of the nicest people in the whole world. And one such company, one such person is what this next product's all about. So there's a guy in Florida, his name is Mikey, and he uh, is the, the CEO of CAA. And um, Mikey and I talked about uh, six months ago, and he says, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, changing up the Roni and doing something different on it. You know, the Roni, okay? And I said, well, the Roni's huge, and we sell a ton of them. Yeah, 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 but I want to do something better. And so um, he and I talked a bunch back and forth, and, and over the uh, months, he developed a, uh, a new version of the Roni, and that's what this video is all about. It's the MCK. And there it is, and it's different, but same, the same, or similar in a sense. It, it is different, but the same in, in the sense that it's improved. It really is an improved platform for your Glock handgun to be able to shoot your Glock handgun at distances of 100 yards and even more. All right, now that's what, you know, this is really fascinating. This is a, a neat little piece that um, is, uh, like I said, improved in many ways, and we're gonna talk about those. Uh, let's talk about the concept here real quickly. You're able to put a Glock into this and it gives you a more stable platform on which to shoot, which will allow you to have longer range accuracy. That said, do keep in mind there are some NFA or, you know, there are some federal regulations that apply to this concept. The reason we can sell this version of the MCK directly to you is because it has what is called a pistol brace or pistol stabilizer or a fin, okay? If this were a stock, a regular stock, and they do make a version of this for law enforcement and uh, other applications with a regular stock, you would have to go to the um, uh, ATF and, and apply for a tax stamp or a permit to have what they call short-barreled rifle. Okay, but because it has this fin and this stabilizer concept, this pistol stabilizer concept, it's still considered a pistol. All right, so that's very important. You understand that uh, when you buy this, it's a pistol. You can put your handgun into it, take your handgun out, it's no problem. If you modify this back portion, and, and it will accept a, a stock, then it's a different animal and it becomes uh, a short barrel rifle and you've got to apply for some uh, paperwork for that. So be aware of all that. So that said, let's go through the new features of the, uh, the, new, uh, the new Roni, I like to call it, but really it's called the MCK. All right, so first and foremost, uh, we can look at it and it's the same concept in a sense that uh, you, it will accept a, um, uh, a, a Glock handgun. Now there are other handguns available. So keep that in mind. But right now we're going to talk about the uh, Glock uh, 17, 19, 22, 23, uh, 31, 32. All right, because that's what is going to fit for this particular gun. Now, what's interesting that he did uh, this time is he made it so that it's universal in a sense that the same unit, this same piece, will fit all those guns I just mentioned. So in essence, the original Roni fit the large frame, the 17, 22, 31. And then there was a secondary product that was uh, the same item, but just really designed for the 1923-32. Now, this one piece will fit all six of those guns. And it's, um, it's pretty simple to do. And what I want to show you is how, how they uh, have devised uh, this mechanism. So if you look up here on the front really closely, you'll see it says 17. 
I've got it set up for a Glock 17 right now. If you look on the side here, you'll also see in here very closely, okay, it's very close, you gotta get in here close. And there's some letters there that say, let's see if I can get the numbers there, that say 17, 19, I hope you can see them, there they are, I think. So um, it's uh, basically uh, 17, 19. Let's see here right there, yeah. So the 17's on the top. Okay, so basically what you'll see, there's two screw holes here. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this screw right here. And I'm gonna loosen it up all the way and basically just take it all the way out. It only acts as a, a tightener uh, for this barrel shroud that we're gonna push back in that would give it the 19 position. And I'll loosen this one up over here on this side. Same thing, just gonna make these loose. And so the neat thing about this is now you really have one piece that's gonna work on, on both of these guns. Okay, so now you see how the barrel shroud just pushes in and out. So there it is set up for the 19. And I'd go in, I'd take my screws and put them back to the 19 hole. But I'm gonna shoot a 17. So I'm gonna bring it back out to 17 and I'll tighten these back up a little bit. And there is a corresponding hole there, so if it doesn't match, what I found is sometimes I push it out just a little too far. There it is. And now it kind of seats itself in that hole, and I'll tighten that down on that side and do the same over here. Okay, so that's the one neat feature that he incorporated into this. Mm -hmm. I think I tightened it too much is what I did. There we go. And just like your tire lug nuts, you wanna make sure that they, you don't over tighten one side too much which is what I did the first time and wasn't able to line up the second hole. There we go. Okay, so there's our 17 version. Now, the other thing that uh, they did, which is different, is the charging handle is captured inside the piece so it doesn't fall out and it doesn't come out. It operates the same exact way as the original Roni where you push this button and you pull down on the gate and pull up on the gate. So the gate goes up and locks forward, push the button, pull the gate back, and pull it back. And what I've also noticed, you know, really just kind of a side note is it's much easier to operate than the original Roni. All right, here's a Glock 17. And uh, it's empty. Bang. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it into the Roni. Now, what we're gonna make sure we do is we line up the serrations on the rear with the charging handle. And it really can't go in any other way, but I, I'm gonna just eyeball it, make sure that I've got it seated properly and I've got it back in this full position there. And then you'll find out where those serrations are because it won't go in otherwise. And there, kind of a nice little click means that I'm, I'm really in there. The gun is gonna lock up in the Roni with the Picatinny rail in the front and these uh, little takedown levers right here on either side of the, uh, the unit. So when I push it in, you'll hear it kind of click. Here it goes. There's our click. So now it's locked in and that's it. All right, and I'll close the gate and push forward and I'll lock the gate, basically. So now I've got free access to the charging handle. Bang. The slide stop is now exposed. So you can manipulate that with your thumb manually. Whereas the old one, uh, it had a kind of a funky system uh, that was over top of that and you had to have a button on top of that that tried to operate that. It really didn't work great. This one now allows you full access. And if I were to put an extended version of that in there, it'd have a lot more control. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna notice is the shape if the front is a little different. And he allowed for a finger groove right there. So there's really two finger grooves. So there's my two fingers. Boom. So I really can lock in. And you'll notice here, he has given the option of putting in a spare magazine. 
Okay, because well, again, well, the magazine charges uh, and the handle, but now you have a spare. Now, one thing about this spare magazine, uh, you know, I kind of struggled with it first when I first got it. I thought, what the heck is wrong with this thing? I'm yanking on it, and you know, it, it, it comes out. But the technique is to put your thumb up in here and just use a little bit of pressure. So it's not not going to be a fast change magazine. It doesn't have a release button. It just really has some uh, static pressure of these uh, plastic clips on either side. So you know, again, the technique I found is to grab it and just push up with your thumb. I mean, I can sit here and fight it all day and yank it out, but the thumb technique seems to be the easiest way. And it gets easier the more you do it. It does, it does loosen up a little bit. The other uh, improvement, in a sense, uh, is the extended stabilizer fin. So the original Roni came with a shorter version. Both of these were, you know, uh, I guess collapsible or foldable. Uh, but the newer version that he has, this MCK version, he decided to go with a longer fin because people really like it. Now, do keep in mind that uh, federal regulations do state that you can shoot this from the shoulder. Okay, there's a letter out from the ATF that says you can, so just be aware of that. You can also you know, put the stabilizer on your arm, and, and a lot of people will do that as well, but it can be shot from here, and we'll demonstrate that uh, in the range here shortly. So, there it is, pretty awesome package. And of course, you know, I've got no ammunition in this room, so I'll just show you how it looks with, with the two mags and our uh, double diamond extensions right there. Pretty awesome, huh? So now you can be here, and uh, basically have 50 rounds of ammunition. And uh, it's pretty darn cool. So, one thing I wanna talk about real quick before we go and take this to the range is um, the sighting system. Now there is an accessory kit similar to the existing Roni, and the accessory kit includes flip up front and rear sights, or you know, rear and front sights, uh, a swing, a sling swivel, and a sling itself, a light. Now the light concept, just so you can see what's going on there, uh, it comes out by depressing these buttons right here on the side, and they are stout. So you have to push them really hard, and then this light will rotate or come out, and, I'm, I'm telling you, it's not easy, so let me see if I can get a better grip on it. And I've done it before, but there we go. All right, so the light comes out. This is just the, uh, the plastic, uh, say, sh shroud that actually is there as a, uh, as a space holder when you don't have the light. The light is part of the accessory kit. You can buy that separately, but, you know, if you buy the full advanced kit, it's a little less expensive. And um, uh, the one thing about the light that uh, people always get confused about is it only really operates on one, with one switch. So if you want it to operate with your index finger or on the left side, you would put that switch on the left side. If you want it to be on the other side, you rotate it around so that the switch is on the other side. People think that the, uh, the light's going to operate on both sides, and it doesn't. It only has one, one of those switches is, uh, is active. And hence, uh, a lot of times people say, well, this light's not working properly. But, you know, be uh, aware that that's not designed that way. It's designed to uh, uh, basically have a, a one-way operation. Okay, I'm going to put this shroud back in here. If I go back in the right way, it looks like it may work. Here we go. And I think it's backwards. Upside down, should I say. Okay, so that's the light. That's the accessories. Uh, the... Um, uh, other accessory is a thumb rest too, if you're interested in having that. But with this new design, I don't really know that you need a thumb rest because these two finger grooves up here and this little ledge right here really gives you a place to put your thumb. So, and there's my thumb right there. And that's a little bit more intuitive for me versus putting the thumb up top here. And intuitive meaning that when I shoot a handgun, my thumbs are basically in the same spot as well. So both the thumbs are there. So hence I'm pointing with my thumb and wherever I bring my thumb, I bring the, um, uh, the muzzle. Now, here's what's really cool about this. Yes, you can buy the accessory kit. And um, the, I, I say the sling and sling swivel and the light are great options. I'm going to show you the upgrade that I do, and I'm going to shoot here shortly. And it's going to be a red dot optic. And the one I'm going to choose today is this Holosun 510. And this... Um, is an amazing uh, optic. We've been testing these uh, on our uh, uh, FM9 PCCs, and uh, there's two things that we really like about it. One, the, the window itself is huge. Look how big the window is. And you know, compare that to any of the other uh, uh, handgun uh, uh, windows, it's you know, 30, 40% larger. 
Additionally, the solar panel here uh, is big and robust. And uh, this is a very robust site. It's got a lot of size to it. It's not a tiny site. It has a little bit of weight to it. But man, I'm telling you what, uh, it's awesome. It's a big window. So what I'm going to do is mount this. I've already got it kind of preset up. And um, I believe I had it mounted right about here. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. So, this is pretty darn awesome. Because this stable platform allows you to shoot at longer distances with a handgun. And, as we've demonstrated, to remove the handgun is literally seconds. So, we'll go through the process one more time. Push the button, pull the gate back, lift the gate up. Now, Release the gun with the takedown levers basically right here on both sides. Pull down, pull the gun back, and then now we're instead of pulling the whole the uh, charging handle out, we're just going to pull the gun out of the charging handle. And there it's that quick. And again, going back in is just as quick. So we're going to take this to the range and test fire it a little bit. But I'm telling you what, the uh, improvement to the Roni is the new MCK. It's available in different colors. Uh, we're going to be one of the first to have them because of my great relationship with uh, Mikey, the CEO, and um, and uh, you know our assistants in helping get this thing underway. So that said, um, uh, you do definitely want to think about ordering. And here's one other great thing about this: it's made in the USA, and it's less expensive than the original Roni. So it's a good deal. Now let's go on the range and have some fun with this uh, new MCK. All right, we're here now to the indoor range with our MCK. I've got it fully decked out with all the accessories that we talked about earlier. So first and foremost, I've got the uh, swing swivel and the uh, sling itself. The sling swivel and the sling itself. Uh, of course, the uh, thumb rest we talked about. They're both on uh, either side, which is kind of neat. And then uh, the light. The light's actually a 500 lumen light that is easily accessed. And you can switch it around, like I said, depending on which hand you want to operate it with. I'm uh, right-handed. I'm going to go ahead and operate it with my right, uh, my left thumb, just like so. And then these uh, pop-up sights are pretty cool too. And I've got it, of course, like I said, set up with the Holosun, uh, the red dot optic. But what's interesting is the uh, pop-up sights are co-witnessing the red dot optic. So hence, I'm looking through the peephole in the back. And the red dot optic, the red dot itself, is actually right in that people. So it's a kind of a neat little feature. Uh, I won't use them for this particular uh, demonstration. Uh, and you can see uh, the sling has a little bit of uh, bunginess to it, which is nice. It's comfortable. There is a holster available, by the way, uh, that, that will grab hold of this and kind of hold it right here. Right now, not really that necessary. In fact, you know, it's easy to just let the thing drop down. I've got a Glock 17 in there uh, with our pyramid trigger. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun little piece. Now, the objective here is to really mount this into the shoulder as tight as possible. So really, I've got a lot of pressure with this left hand. And my right hand, uh, my trigger, is, is going to be, you know, firm. But uh, I want to keep it loose enough so that I can manipulate the trigger fast. So pull it in tight. Make sure you, you come up with a comfortable mounting spot for your face and your body type. So that means when you bring the red dot up to your face, the red dot intersects with your eyes. What you don't want to do is, is bring the gun up and then have to drop your, your head down and be in a different position every time. You want to keep your head erect and in the normal spot and really look at your target and bring the red dot up into that target. And then make sure you have good firm pressure bringing that mount back into your body. Elbows typically down. And there you go. That's really the technique there. So, uh, of course, we uh, have a Glock 17. It's going to take your standard Glock 17 magazines. This is uh, a Glock 17 factory magazine, 17 round, with our double diamond uh, uh, plus six extension. So it's 23 rounds. Now, that's always fun, right? Okay. But uh, a little bit more fun would be the Glock 33 round magazine with our plus six. So really, it's 31 plus 6 is 37 in this uh, magazine. It's going to go into our auxiliary holder. 
So that's actually the spare magazine holder. It'll take any size magazine. Of course, you've got to use the, uh, the 17 or the full size. But I also want to introduce to you something new that just came by my desk the other day. Uh, this is a, a, a plus 20. And um, uh, it, uh, it will be available on our website uh, by the time you see this, probably. Uh, it'll give you 20 rounds plus. And we've been testing it out. I've had some pretty good luck with it. So I thought, well, let me just shoot it right now. Uh, it is uh, pretty awesome. It's going to go into the back bottom here like so. So there's the package. Now, imagine shooting this for your PCC competitions. So you go out, now you've got, you know, no, no need to reload, you're just gonna shoot all day. Uh, but here it goes, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, rack the uh, slide. Looks good, everything's good, everything's set. I've got some targets set up here. Now again, we're in our indoor range here in San Diego. Now we can do different things here that you can do in any other indoor range because we don't have lanes, we have combat rooms. So we've set up different target scenarios. And this one is, you know, just something we threw together here today just to have some fun and to, to shoot this, to kind of demonstrate, you know, the, the new MCK, uh, the new uh, accessories, of course, and, of course, uh, just a little bit of shooting and a little shooting fun. So here we go. Uh, let's get through this target uh, course of fire. Here we go. Ready? And... Kind of fun, huh? So that's what we can do here in San Diego. That's what you can do with the MCK. It's an awesome platform, greatly improved over the, uh, the Roni, and uh, we've got them now in stock in all the colors. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. We'll see you next time.